today we are checking out WRC Roblox Rally. This is by far one of my favorite rally games on Roblox. In fact, I can't really even tell you about any other ones because I don't think there is anything that can compare. This is for sure the kind of standard benchmark rally game. It's a lot of fun to play. I really enjoy it and there's a ton of different maps. So let's jump in and let me show you guys why I like this game so much. So the first thing you get greeted with here is multiplayer race mode, game passes and credits. Coming in the next major update will be a race mode, which is gonna be very, very cool. However, if we click on multiplayer, we can actually see a lot of different map options here all over the world We've got tons of different maps and this I think is one of the coolest aspects It literally covers tons of different places in the world and I think that is super epic I'm gonna start here with the new map Belgium because I did try the Japan map It's really fun, but I want to try something different. We'll try a few different maps today And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get a good score and then maybe you guys can comment down below what your best times were Now let's take a look. What do we got? So a ton of different vehicles if we look here we can actually see how these cars are grouped I don't really know if the grouping makes a difference but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah I think I will start with the Audi Quattro this looks like a really good car to start with maybe maybe a little bit too good but let's see how we do here this is the first time I've done this map so let's pull out here and uh, it says this map is is technical and you can get stuck easy if this happens just spawn a new car okay <laughs> this is probably gonna be a difficult map but like I said I've only done the Japan map once and uh, here we go let's get into this guys you can see we do have a co-driver here and uh, he gives us all the directions we need oh my god <laughs> okay that's a interesting way to introduce the map starting with a huge hairpin okay and then right into some dangerous areas here and I challenge you guys down below to let me know what kind of times you actually got with this game. I think it's a really cool game and there just isn't a lot of attention given to rally games and they're so freaking fun. I feel like they don't get enough love. Look at this slim road that we have to ride on here. We got to be very careful not to end up in the ditches. Now I don't know all of the controls. I kind of just play using, you know, the default WASD. I don't know if there's a handbrake control or not. There probably is, but... For now, I think it's good to just kind of get warmed up, see what we're doing here. And let's just see what kind of time we can get. I have to say, I really, really like how the cars ride. They feel super good. Especially when you hit the dirt, it feels like the vehicles actually handle differently. But yeah, I think once they add racing, there is going to be a lot of competition here. Oh geez, that was not good. Now we're up in the mountains. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh, what are we doing here? What the heck? Okay. I think it would be super sick if we come back to this game and actually have someone who's like a pro with thousands of hours drive us around just to kind of see what you can do once you've got a lot of experience in this. I honestly think the majority of players are like me and they're just trying it out for the first time. 228, okay, that's it. Wow, that was actually a fast one. So. Yeah, like I said, I think most players are just new, trying this out, you know, nobody's really that competitive, but we gotta find the really competitive people. So yeah, 228 on the Belgium, try to beat that guys, let me know, look, this guy got 11 minutes, dude, wow. <laughs> okay, try to get 228 guys, uh, try to beat me, let me know in the comments if you do. Let's go back to the lobby and try a different map. Let's try the Italian Monza one, okay, this one looks pretty cool. Wow, this guy's got 1,400 minutes played. I don't know what that is in uh, real time, but let's use the beginner car here. Let's use the Ford Fiesta. This is what you kind of like start things off with, so... And it sounds really good as well. Oh my god, dude. Holy crud. Look how sharp these turns are. You know, I gotta say the variety is very nice to have all these different options, but man, some of these maps are really, really technical. I feel like I should really know what the handbrake is. Is it, is it P? Maybe it's P. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use the handbrake here, guys. Because I think that's kind of what they want you to do. Is that handbrake? I don't know. I think here is the controls, right? No, that's not controls. Where can I see controls? Oh my god. Okay, wow. That actually <laughs> kind of looked pretty cool. Totally did not mean to do that either, but... Oh, wow. Okay, this one is hard. You can't even see where you're going, dude. And here's the finish. Okay, I'm going to take you guys to my favorite one. Oh, I'm going right off the map. But yeah, like I said, I want to take you guys to my favorite map, which now, now now that I've tried a few of these is definitely the Japan map. I honestly really enjoyed this one. So let's take the car I started with here and uh, yeah, I'll show you this one. This one's really fun. Um, this one kind of feels like more, I don't know, regular rally cross. There's not a lot of uh, obstacles or anything, just general road that you got to take. 
But I really gotta figure out what the heck the handbrake is, man. I could be hitting these turns way harder. Here we go. Yeah, this one, and I really like the mountains. I don't know how they added them in this way, but they feel like you're genuinely in the mountains of Japan right now. This one feels really immersive and fast paced. It's a bit longer than the other ones as well, but it feels like you can actually rip around here. Oh, dang it, I did that again. Yeah, take a look at this atmosphere, guys. It really, it's pretty immersive, I can't lie. I feel like if they added in the new Roblox grass, this would look even better, but uh, I really like this map. Oh, here's a caution, obstacles. Oh wow, we dodged them, nice. All right, now we're on the dirt, finally. This is gonna be the fun part here. We can really fly around. I feel like we really gotta watch a pro do this just to see like the difference in skill. <laughs> Some people gotta be pretty good at this by now. Oh, there we go, holy crud, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like once they add racing, this is gonna be insanely competitive. I honestly can't think of a motorsport that's more exhilarating than Rallycross. The speed and like the danger of it is just insane. Someday I do want to try it in real life, but uh, we'll have to see. Oh, here we go. This area is pretty cool. Here we go. Oh god, man, I'm sliding around here. I don't know, even know if I have traction. Oh, wait, there's the controls button. Oh, I can probably see. After this race, I'll see what the controls are. I didn't even notice that button before. Okay, there we go. That's the finish. Let's go. 316, I think that's better than my last time. Okay, what is the handbrake? Left shift, okay. That would be so helpful. So the whole time it's been left shift. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that is super nice. Okay, that'll make a huge difference. I think for the hairpin turns especially. Other than the hairpin turns, I don't think it really matters, but like this one here, if we hit the hairpin. Oh, dang it, way too, way too early. Let's try it again here. Ah, you know what? That wasn't very nice looking, but I feel like that actually saved us a bit of time there. What do we got up here? Another hairpin. Pull the handbrake. Yes! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got to do that more. That felt pretty good. Yeah, this is pretty addictive. I can't lie. This is uh, a lot of fun. I feel like they could really elaborate. Ooh, there we go. We didn't miss it this time. They should really elaborate on this gameplay and just kind of add, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, like a battle pass or make the cars something you have to unlock. Maybe you have a leveling system. Maybe you have just like a currency system. I don't know, something. Maybe you can change the livery on your vehicles if you wanted to. Something like that, just to like encourage grinding more. Because otherwise, you're just trying to get a better time. But why not have multiple ways to actually grind? Like, why not grind money and try to get the best time? Here we go back on the dirt. I feel like this is a really good run so far. I feel like I'm really starting to figure this game out finally. Okay, this is going to be a pretty sharp one. There we go. Okay, now that I know the handbrake, I feel like I got this a little bit more down. Here's a hairpin. Let's see if we can use the handbrake. Oh, too, too late, too late. Here's another one. There we go. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That one lost momentum, but still, I think we're figuring this out now. So I think our best time now has been 3 minutes 15. I think we're going to beat it this time, guys. I feel it. Ooh, there we go. I think we're getting close to the end now, guys. Let's just uh, not make any more big mistakes here. I think I did pretty good, but I did kind of mess up a couple times here. So let's see how this turns out. Ooh, like that was a little bit unnecessary. There's the hairpin. There we go. Yes. Yeah, that just feels right. <laughs> Gotta be really careful around these, because we're, we're flying right now. I feel like I'm forgetting how fast I'm actually going here, you know? Like, I'm going like 100 miles an hour around some of these turns. <laughs> like, that's insanity. There we go. Come on, what are we getting? What are we getting? 312. Okay, so we shaved off a good 5 seconds, I would say could have done a little bit better there as well but this is sick guys i'm gonna wrap it up here let me know if you want me to play this game more this is actually a ton of fun to do and uh once i started figuring things out it actually got really enjoyable so let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching leave a like and i'll see you all in the next video